and the situation remains dire. Uh, the Delta variant continues to put an unsustainable strain on our healthcare workers and our hospital system. In many cases, there are no beds, as has been widely reported. As of yesterday, there was an average of 288 new daily cases. There are now over 40,000 total cases and 846 deaths reported in Orleans. Uh, the positivity rate is over 12 percent. This touches everyone and it is impacting young people. We will surpass, I'm sorry, we will surpass 3,000 hospitalizations statewide today. Uh, we are seeing some movement on the vaccination since last Thursday, which is encouraging. Uh, from Thursday the 12th through yesterday, Orleans gained 3,932 new first dose vaccinations. That's a 1.7 percent increase. It's incremental. We want to see more, but we are pleased to see that. The biggest gains were seen in the under 18 age group, which jumped by 5.7 percent. Overall, we've crossed two important thresholds. More than 60 percent of all residents have at least one shot, and more than 75 percent of all re eligible residents have started vaccination. Uh, we've said all throughout this that all options have to be on the table. You saw that last week with the announcements that the mayor and Dr. Vegna made on Thursday. Uh, we are happy to see by and large businesses are complying. Uh, people support this uh, because they know it's the best way forward. We appreciate the businesses that are trying to do what's right. We also understand that it's not like flicking a switch, that there is uh, an adjustment period, and that's, that's what we're in this week. Uh, we do encourage businesses that need assistance to reach out for help. Um, I know it was reported today that Morning Call was having some trouble trying to figure out how they were going to run their door operations. Uh, we have a solution for that. Right now, through our Job One program, we have staffing and we have funding to put people at the door that can help you check vaccinations at the door. So uh, for those facilities that are having difficulty doing that, please reach out to Job One. We have people that want to work. We have funding to pay them. And we can do that, as I understand it, for up to six months. So please reach out. First come, first served, obviously. But we have a solution for that problem. And again, I know Morning Call was having struggle with that, as Doug reported, and we'd like to help them out. Um, all that said. Next week on the 23rd, we are going to begin enforcement actions. Uh, businesses that are found not to be in compliance at that time will face a penalty. That could include, as you've seen throughout this, we've done it before. We don't like doing it, but we've done it. Immediate cease and desist orders. We shut you down on the spot until you can come into compliance. You've seen that happen before. We don't want to do it. We want people to be open. Um, as the mayor has said, as the uh, health leadership have said, the alternative to this is a shutdown. We don't want to shut down. We don't want to shut you down. We want everybody to be in compliance. We want everybody to get vaccinated. Uh, 